This is Atomi Alpha, an electric scooter that has some pretty nice features and that has been sent to me by Geek Buying for a review. Let's take a look at it. Let me start this review from the conclusions. If you don't have time to watch the entire video, I understand. Therefore, what do you need to know? That this is a really, really comfortable scooter to ride. I don't know how much effect of effect comes from the rear suspension and how much is from the inflatable tires, but the ride comfort is top. It's really quiet, it's really comfortable. It doesn't rattle, it doesn't make any extra noises that you don't want to hear when you ride an electrical scooter so it's a comfortable to ride scooter it will reach 25 kilometers per hour measured by gps and will be able to maintain the speed more or less until the battery runs down to about 30 percent the battery is 10 amp hour battery pack meaning big guy 90 kilograms like me winter with negative temperatures probably 15, 17, up to 20 kilometers, but I wouldn't risk it. And then some smaller rider in summer potentially can go 22, 23, definitely calmly 20 kilometers on this battery pack. It's a rear wheel drive scooter. It has pretty good brakes, not fantastic, but good. It's a front drum brake and the rear motor yeah, electric regeneration braking, which stops you in basically no time. The quality of the materials and the assembly looks really good. The scooter has some extra features like bike or a scooter lock. It also has these nice LED lights that can be controlled by the app. If you don't want to lock your scooter with this uh, cable, you can also lock the scooter with the app. For the downsides, I can mention three things. First of all, I couldn't manage to make the cruise control work. It does not work for me. It's not on. Then there is this kickstand that looks a bit weird when you fold it down. It works, but it's a bit short and it looks a bit weird. And the third and the biggest one potentially is that the manufacturer claims scooter has 650 watt motor, but by some acceleration test, I can tell you it's definitely not faster than any 350 watt scooter. So to sum up, we have average speed, average acceleration, average price, but very good looking, very good build quality and very comfortable to ride the electrical scooter. If that's something you're looking for, congratulations, you found a great scooter and good luck with your new purchase. Now, if you came to this video just for this conclusion, good luck with your day. I hope you could leave the video running till the end. That greatly helps my channel, the same as your subscriptions and likes and comments. And for the rest of you, let's dive into details. Apart from the scooter itself, in the box you will find a detailed user manual, 2 amp charger, cover for a kickstand, 2 screws 
and the tool to assemble your scooter. The assembly of the scooter is really straightforward. It's just about plugging in one cable, inserting the handlebars and screwing in the two screws and your scooter is ready to ride. I'm a 90 kilogram rider and off the start it takes about 15 to 20 seconds to reach the maximum speed of 25 kilometers per hour the scooter can maintain the 25 kilometers per hour and i think that acceleration and the max speed is normal for european scooter the only disappointment for me was that the scooter is marketed at 650 watt motor and i was expecting from 650 watt motor <clears throat> a bit more pull I don't have any way to measure how many watts the scooter motor is pulling, but I have a feeling it's not pulling 650. Just look at this comparison of fully charged scooter on 650 watt motor versus 50% only charged old scooter with 250 watt motor. As you can see, the difference is really not that big and that blew a bit my expectations with the 650 watt motor. As many of you ask in the comments how scooters perform on climbs, I don't have good hills around me to test it. So what I have is I have a multi-floor garage here and it's not definitely not the steepest climb. I'll just go through the side. You can potentially see the angle of the road going up. So let's try and see if the scooter can climb this angle. Well, we have some initial speed, all right. We don't we won't do it from standstill. And as you can see, it's not the best climber in the world for sure. So that's a bit. So that's the part that I don't like uh, that the company claims that scooter has 650 watt motor because 650 watt scooter, any scooter that can produce 650 watts of power would climb this sub hill no problems whatsoever. And this scooter unfortunately needs some help like this. First, let me start with a word of caution for people who like to ride scooters with their feet next to each other. This is the narrowest deck on an electrical scooter I have ever seen. While the deck is really narrow, I like it, it's comfortable. The rubber is super grippy, you can't slip on it at all, so that's really nice. And I really love when the decks have like incline at the front and if there is something and the back to put your foot against that also helps with the controls of the scooter as i mentioned in many of my riding videos you control your scooter mainly with your feet not with your arms so the deck is really nice filming this bit we thought we forgot to turn on the microphone because that's how scooter rides on the cobblestone it doesn't seem to create any rattling noise even when you go on cobblestone As you can hear airplanes and other background noises, you know that I didn't make the microphone quiet or something. It's really this quiet and that's the result of 9 inch inflatable tires, rear suspension, good materials and a good build quality. And for me personal, this is the biggest highlight of this scooter. Super quiet and very comfortable to ride.
If you watch any of my previous scooter reviews, you know that I tried to torture the folding mechanism by doing bunny hops on my all electrical scooters. Because I found it a really quick way to tell if the folding mechanism will last. So folding mechanism of this scooter, I find it really, really nice. It's super simple. It's super easy to operate. It's a bit adjustable and also it didn't become loose after me bunny hopping it 20 or 30 times. The Atomi Alpha comes with an application for iOS and Android devices. I have only tried the iOS version. In order to use it, you will have to sign up and create an account. And then after you log in and you add a new device, you can control the headlight, turn on and off cruise control, change the start mode from zero start to kick start and so on. On the battery info, there is a bit of disappointment as you cannot see the individual values of, cell, of battery cell groups. There is a GPS navigation where you can use Google Maps or Apple Maps or I don't know, maybe some other uh, map services. The best thing is that you can switch between those different modes also by using the on off button and you don't need to use the app for that. Also in the app you can control LED lights, you can change the scenes so you can run in different patterns as you see right here and it has several of these presets or you can just change to the color that you like and when I see the, when I say the color that you like you actually have the whole palette of colors so that's pretty nice to be able to customize and then actually adjust the strength how much do you want of that light so I think that's pretty that's pretty cool <laughs> does it the color match because look <laughs> I set it on green and it's pink here uh, <laughs> if I change the percentage, that actually changes the color. How does that work? I don't even know, man. So the controls of RGB LED lights in the app is not really working well. Same as the cruise control. I didn't manage to get my cruise control running on this scooter, neither with the button nor with the app. What I'll try, I will leave the app open with cruise control on in my pocket. Let's see if I can get the cruise control working. It's not on. All right, let's go max. So I'm holding the accelerator to the max now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. I release it, scooter slowing down. Nope, the cruise control. At least I don't know how to turn it on. And one more feature in the app is the ability to lock and unlock the scooter. And if you don't like the app version, there is also a physical one. Another interesting feature of the scooter is the lock. You set your code, the standard is three zeros. You switch that button, then you can set whatever combination you want and you put it back up and that's your new combination. I found it a bit difficult to open with my fingers. It's a spring loaded door. The scooter is falling. So I need to use like my nail to open it. And then you need to hold it to get this cable out. The cable is rather thin. I think you can cut it with simple pliers. So I wouldn't rely on it to live in uh, dangerous places. It's more, you know, that someone just doesn't jump on and drive away. I don't know, maybe one meter or so. Wrap it around something and then plug into this lock. And then you can change the code and you can't unlock it. Actually, in the little town where I live, where it's pretty safe to leave bikes locked like this. I'm pretty happy with this lock. It's a really nice feature when I just need to leave my scooter for a couple minutes at the shop. Overall, I'm really happy that scooter 
companies are innovating and adding more and more features on our scooters. So really thumbs up for this new invention on city electrical scooters. If we talk about the LCD screen, so when I ride my scooter, basically you should be now seeing what I see. And yes, right, I see nothing in the screen. In order to be able to see the LCD screen, I need to squat down. And if I change my angle, then it's actually bright even in the sunlight. It's just that the angle of, of it, it's, yeah, it's not to my uh, height, at least I'm one meter 91 centimeters and I cannot see it well. So the only way for me to see what speed I'm going or what, how much battery is left is to do this. Yeah, now I, see, now I can see it pretty well. So I need to be like this tall. The other interesting thing is the kickstand. As you can see, it has this rubber pad that makes it a bit longer. And even with this prolongation, the scooter stands pretty much at a sharp angle. And without it, it's angled even more. When you put that rubber thing on, be careful, you can easily lose it because it's not holding on so well. If you intend to keep it, I would add some glue. And if you ride without it, well, then I wouldn't leave my scooter parked on the short kickstand because it will eventually fall. Well, but then the kickstand fits nicely and it's not sticking out. I think there is a magnet. As you can see, when you close it, it sticks very well with the magnet. This is a really dusty and slick surface. I come here in landscaping, so you know it's pretty slippery, can do slides, but the tires are actually holding up so well on the scooter. You need to really, really push them hard so they start slipping. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of the tires. Manufacturer says the tires are tubeless and that's why they say they are puncture proof. And we know that that possibly cannot be true. You can still have a puncture on this tire, but the good news is that tubeless tires work really well with different sealants like slime or similar products. At least I had very good personal experience with them. So you can load the tire with some sealant and potentially ride many kilometers until your first puncture. All in all, as I said already in the beginning of the video, I enjoyed riding the scooter. It's super comfortable, super quiet. It's not for speed demons. If you want to be the fastest guy in the world, you need to look for something else. If you have to climb very steep hills, you have to look for something else. If you use it in regular city conditions and you need to ride somewhere between 10 and 20 kilometers, this could be a scooter for you. I did not see any big drawbacks. The build quality looks really, really solid. The scooter has been designed nicely. It looks pretty cool. And I think it might last for many, many years. So if that's a scooter for you, you will find the link with the discount code in the description below. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one. And if you have any questions, I normally try and reply all of them in the comments of my YouTube channels.